We've been doing Lady. this for over two years. No, we're just discussing. Okay, if, wait, if, my, if my mood's a little bit bleak, he gives what he does is he gives me these new headphones, and I don't know technology. Headphones, headphones. headphones. I don't know the difference. Yeah. Does it sound warmer? Is that a thing? Uh, warm. Oh, your voice has. Your voice is less harsh, less witchy. It's don't, more. It's more. Don't get me started. It's like putting on a spoon warmer. in a thing of uh, Nutella. Warmer. Is something oh, phone call? Ignore it. Warmer uh-huh. is something that really doesn't warmth. exist. Do people get warmth off us? Oh, I could tell you they do. I can actually tell you because you're a bit glacial. Us, well, before we do that, mm-hmm. you got your headphones. Mm-hmm. Stop complaining about the noise. Come through my lugs. Oh my god! Well, just the, the maybe the sounds uh, better, but the actual the, the ear feel. <sighs> They were 50 quid. You'll enjoy them. Oh, God. Now, People with weird little ears. Kind of like a pigeon. Have you seen a pigeon's ear? No. There's no lobe. It's just a hole. It's well, These whole, are yeah. for pigeons. <sighs> they get, you'll enjoy them. You'll get used to them. My ears feel encased. You don't like cheap. Yes, they're over the... That's the whole point. Is it? You're not meant to be distracted. They, they feel by a little bit interfered with almost. Like it's... That's, these po- are the, that's these, a possibility. These are the Jimmy Savile of earphones. That's a possibility. Oh. Now, that takes us on to our first thing. Because oh. I've got a note A segue. Here. Right? Mm-hmm. We've got lots, we've had some new patrons. Jesus, have we? And they're, they're lovely people and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to name any names. No, don't. Right? No, I'm not going to go down this first. What I'm going to say first. Any famous people. Is, you know the Will Smith, before we go to the patron. Uh uh-huh, the slap. The slap. I said on uh, Twitter that it was both right and wrong at the same time because mm-hmm. you shouldn't hit anyone, but it was very entertaining. <laughs> yeah. And someone said to me, there's no such thing as entertaining violence. Never watched Hold boxing. On. Because it's a run D down. I have news to prove this person wrong. Because the other night uh-huh. there was a football match in Dundee. Oh, there's a, uh, near you? Did it happen but quite near you? Could you a hear bit it? Of violence. But this was there were several bits of violence. Uh-huh. But the one that I saw, uh-huh. I was having a cup of tea and I was watching it. You're, like, you're always at that window. Two girls were, well, I say girls, women, oh, okay. were put out of the pub because they were arguing. Uh-huh. They went at each other. Love it. Drunk as fuck. Love it. Oh, that wasn't the entertaining part Because I don't like that What the entertaining part Is everyone went over To break them up And they jumped back Like a bomb had gone off oh. And some people started laughing Others went Oh and Put their hands up And walked away Now what happened One girl had been Exerting herself so much She shat herself And there was little tiny Bright orange blobs of shit On the, the ground But they were still fighting you described those as women. You, you should have said ladies. Oh, that's, they were ladies. That's a, so maybe, <laughs> devil's advocate here. Yeah. Maybe she had some craft cheese spread in her back pocket and she just burst it. Uh, there was one guy who mm-hmm. jumped back and went, Fuck. He was like, <laughs> like that. The, it must. I never smell it. It was outside, but I, it, the smell must have hit them, and they jumped back. But she didn't stop fighting. He'd still taken her home that night. Uh, I'm sure he did. The good thing is, it was entertaining. It's gone. She's yeah. cleared the way. It's it's all fine. She's, she's, oh. Then eventually they got up uh. and spent not a word of a lie an hour negotiation, screaming at each other from oh. about. Um, I don't know, about 30 metres apart. I wonder how the fight was over. A screaming. man, a man. Well, the screaming was so... The, the funny thing is, you, you hear a lot of people saying, if you know, you're from Scotland, you're hard to understand. <sighs> this is true, because I didn't know a word they were no. saying. They were just screaming. <sighs> it was so entertaining. But there was, was there not football violence in Lockheed as well the other day? Yes, there was. There was. In my work, I one, don't like that. one of my That's more useless um, uh, co- co-workers had let a... a, a very drunk man in a Celtic top rampage about the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look yeah. for these little clues to stop people <laughs> from getting. It's not. A, it's not a complicated job in many ways. It's, it's yeah. too much for some people because it was Rangers and Celtic. So that... a, a scourge. Yeah, I would argue that that, that foot, those two teams are just a Scotland would be a better place without them. Oh, I agree. It just causes it's just so much grief. Trouble. It's and... died off a bit because it's fa- not like the eighties. Well, nobody's going to bloody church or the chapel. So what the hell are they arguing about? Yeah, that's. A but good somebody point. got bottled at the game. Somebody threw. Oh my god! I think the guy that cleans watch cleans the football studs got hit with a bottle. Oh, what's people thinking? When I was uh, when I lived in Glasgow many years ago, now we. A, a person we used to go and visit for supplies I'll put it that way mm. Lived beside Lived beside Ibrox And uh, 
a if supply he, dealer, if you would. In in a in a <laughs> let, look at it at almost the consistency of a nice maybe a firm brownie, if you will. Oh, I oh, got you. And a similar once consumed as a similar relaxing. Do you not find and eating rich? makes you a maniac? It does. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. no, well, Mahash Dealer. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. guy called Zeus. Of course. Great name, of course. <laughs> a bit of innocent days. But I don't do mm-hmm. these things anymore. Mm-mm. Anyway, you'd go past Ibrox prior to the match. Okay. And all the fans were outside the stadium. Oh, God. And they all were drinking, but they weren't allowed to take booze into the stadium. Right. I'd imagine it would have been quite simple. They wouldn't have patted down thousands of people. Yeah. But so after, before going in, they drink, and then they just leave all their half-drunk cans of beer, bottles of yeah. whiskey. And once they were in, an army of, like, JKs would appear. An army. I mean, hundreds of guys right. in shabby suits. And they would just go around and drink oh. all the dregs. This, ev- they've oh. done that every week. Oh, that's awful. Isn't that's it? That's not entertaining. The first time, when I, I think I've told you this, this is maybe the second thing that can, made me reconsider staying in Dundee, but I stayed, I don't know why, <laughs> was homeless people sitting on the street next to, um, next to the rep. Okay, yeah. And a couple of them are those old style, old style JKs you never see anymore. JKs are homeless alcoholics. Mm. Homeless ones. Okay. But you know the old guys that look like tramps. Yeah. You don't see them now. No, you don't get that now. now you don't get drinking like the, that. No. No. So <laughs> uh, two of these old geezers and a kind of younger lassie who was less less further along in the path, shall we say. Okay. A little bit better maintained. And they were sharing a bottle of like fucking VAT 42 or something like oh, cheap booze. Oh some God. cheap booze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they... Uh, She's like, yes, I drink. And he's went, ah, for a kiss. And she necked with him, like this homeless, toothless bastard to get some booze. Oh, that can happen. You know, on the way up Lockheed Road, yeah, where the Chinese restaurant is? Yes. Next to that, there's the there's the, the um, industrial estate down the grass from it. Okay. Remember there used to be a fence there? Yes. Well, that was next to, that used to be a homeless shelter next to the... Right, okay. But I don't think they were allowed to drink in the homeless shelter. Right. But they would sit in the wall and drink next to the I fence. remember it well, because all my youth... Yeah, but there's a, kind of, there's a strange kind of pattern, geometric pattern. Oh, yeah, remember? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember it and well. And they would just throw their cans. Anyway, mm-hmm. they were doing up the area and they took the fence down. And the can mountain, you've never seen anything like it. Incredible. A, I could, yeah, a I remember vast it well. can mountain. And they, it'd been worth money. <laughs> yeah, I remember that well. As I mean, I'm talking being a living, yeah, first year something yeah, like that, yeah. and you'd pass it on the bus, oh, and uh, no, not causing any bother, just slowly the drunks, getting st- oh, stewed. Well, did you they don't get, get drunks like that now? Aye. but I have noticed the drunks appearing a little bit after lockdown. Well, yeah, a lot of people I have became noticed alcoholism people, would yeah. have skyrocketed. You'd nothing else to do. But There's only so have, many hobbies you can have. But you knew the drunks. You yeah. Knew that, that doesn't exist anymore. A lot of the Dundee characters from back in the day are kind of gone. They're all dead. It's just annoying junkie fuckers oh, with yeah, their, white, yeah, yeah. their white trainers. That's all you see. Okay. They're not a character. Takes us on to this week's... Let's Rosie hear now. Oh, oh, God. Uh, let's see if, if we can I stick to this week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this takes us on to this these, week's this, subject. These do sound better. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> they should be deeper round there. Uh-huh. You could hear things. I've heard you like it deep. No. And round. So, uh-huh. new patrons, people, support us on Patreon, uh-huh. all that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Go and see the folkinscotland.com website where you'll get all the videos and all the everything collated together. Brilliant. Collated. So, that's, that's the word shackle. of the day. It's oh, did, you, did you hear my stomach rumble there? That was me. I- that was me. These sound so good. I you thought it was me. It was me. I thought I was. I parted my stomach. It was right from the heart. Jesus you know Christ! Get, oh, right. Oh anyway. God! I can hear things rustling in your <laughs> oh, trousers. Don't listen too deep. It's like a dormouse waking up from its slumber. <laughs> so go on. This this uh, oh, this uh-huh. is perfect uh-huh. because we've got new patrons, and I'm not going to name any names. No. but Gillian, uh, f- Gillian, how, how many women does that make now? T- four. Something like that. A good five. Oh, it's, it's amazing. We're doing well. High numbers. Mm-hmm. So, Stephen, another Stephen. There's loads of people joined to welcome all our new patrons. Did you ask them why? Uh, you don't want to go too deep. No. But 
Gillian said, now I'm paraphrasing here, but she said to her, her husband, she doesn't understand how we can so bravely, handsomely, amazingly uh-huh. come up with so much shite to talk about every week. It's a, it's a, it, I would say a skill. It's an, oh, uh, that's it. it's that's an affliction. The, skill. Wait, wait. Skills with a Z. That's this skills. week's thing. Now, we've both e- been educated, which is going to shock people as well. We try our best. And Gillian doesn't know how we have jobs either. How, how Do we really? Us. Well, I employ me and One I'm, of Alan Sugars. You know, but mm-hmm. skills with a Z. Mm-hmm. Because school education, college education... It's taking me nowhere. You saying if you say life skills and common no, sense, no, I'm no. getting up. No, 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 street skills, street life, street life. Yeah, da, 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 street da, da, skills da, da. with a Z. You got to uh, listen. Street skill with a Z. So, how are talking shite so handsomely and bravely as Gillian said? Uh-huh. isn't talking shite. It's a skill. Z. To be honest with you, yeah, I don't like to blow my own trumpet. And God's sake, you, I've tried. You've tried. I've tried. Oh, that fucking one vertebrae. My neck's never recovered. <laughs> 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 Jane Fonda took her ribs out so she could like do yoga better. Anyway, <laughs> so she claims the she's oh, got a wrinkly mouth. The um, I've listened to other podcasts because yeah. they do a bit of research, mm-hmm. and I've listened to the Scottish ones, and they're fucking garbage. <laughs> Aren't they? We are genius. They're. But the, you know the secret of people's system. What we burn through a lot of chat. We do. Whereas some podcasts, they've got a catchphrase and just the same shit every week. I have noticed this. I you know, it's like it. a comedian. Right. The death of a comedian is when uh-huh. they go on the TV, they burn up all their material. That's a good point. A comedian on television wouldn't have lasted as long as us. But we've got... Because pe- what they do is they panic. Longevity. So, so there skills. are comedians who have got podcasts. You know what they do? They get guests on and stuff. Oh, there's nothing worse. So they have to keep... We have just blethered absolute bollocks. Skills. Yeah, skills. With a Z. And you see, th- th- there's loads of things You know like what? That. I think it's time we did take on an apprentice. What? An intern. Oh, no. no. Did you hear my stomach go again there? I don't know. That yeah. was in your ears now. But, an intern. Uh, but, but oh, not, not some young lassie or something. Right, I okay. think we take on like a 60 year old former paratrooper or something. Oh, Somebody great. with some PTSD. <laughs> It gets triggered by the slightest noise. <laughs> that would be good. Get yeah, no. anytime something falls, he hits the day. But, He's back on Goose Green again. But, oh Jesus! <laughs> Forty years. Forty Falkland. years. Oh That's my Simon God. Simon Weston on the TV this morning. Oh, my uncle was there. He died a couple of months ago. Fuck. Yeah. Well, there's a thing on about the Falklands, a, a documentary, and uh, I thought, well, I watch it, but I remember the Falklands quite strongly. I've been seven yeah. at the time. And I thought, well, I'll watch it because it was very jingoistic at the time. Oh, very. That's... Even as a child, I thought, this is too much. That's but the war documentary for you. they showed, it was actually pretty good because it showed the fucking incompetence of them all. Right. These characters. Mm-hmm. And people died. That... I, right. I have to apologise. Huh? You don't hear that? No. No, it's okay. Right. Okay. Carry no, on. That... I'm sorry. It's messed up. They, they did mad stuff. Like they would send. No, it was, it was, there was one guy in particular who was useless. Right. He was a useless individual. And it's just awful. That's why I don't like the army. You have to follow the orders of somebody who could be an idiot. That's... Because we're idiots. We are. Everyone's but, an idiot. No, 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 no. Mm. We have skills. Yeah, skills. Right? We've weaponized our stupidity. They're transferable, though. Yeah. Of course they are. Mm. Okay, right, put it this way. We're about to make okay. a film. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Right, uh-huh. transferable skills. Well, not now. different medium. The thing is, Oscar landscape's changed. It's not our film's not going to go down because it's going to be ninety percent slapping. Oh, that's kind of hot. I plan to just slap you <laughs> just constantly. Fucking smack. You have permission now. I do. That's what it is. And no, know, it's not going well for well. It's not because Bad Boys Four has been cancelled. See, well, here's now. Here's the problem. What he done was incredibly wrong. Mm-hmm. It showed his privilege and position, yeah. and it was disgusting. But you should keep it. In house as it were. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe in taking someone's work away. He's got enough money, mate. I know, but I don't believe in taking He'll someone's eat. work away. But take his Oscar, so uh, you're out with it, they they're done. They should they're have done. just ejected him from the ceremony, taking his Oscar. Yeah. And then if people want to continue watching Will Smith, people still want to watch Will Smith films. Yeah. But the thing is, that Louis C.K. guy, yeah. masturbated in front of women. Uh huh. He's done a comedy special about masturbating in front of women, and he won a Grammy for it. 
is the it's world a, a cesspit it or is. what? No, the Oscars in particular oh. are just just all that shit. It's nonsense. What I hate about it, they think they're brave. <laughs> There's a lot of bravery. You're so brave in that role. To take on that role. No, you're not. That's genuine you're not brave. That's genuine bravery. When I dressed up as that gorilla for that school play, mm-hmm. was I brave? Some would say I am. So I was. Some would say damaged. Damaged, yeah. But the, well, that's the, when I first tried to blow Moon Trumpet. Oh God, <laughs> there we go. But the the point is uh-huh. with him, I. I, I, I'm very working man attitude where you don't go yeah, to someone's work to fight them. No. You don't fuck was, with he, their work. He was at his work, yeah, and he slapped And somebody. he fucked up at his work. So at that situation, you deal with it there. What's getting packed and what he doesn't realise is he, 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 was, he was trying to segue into more of a mature roles. I think he thought he's gonna be a serious actor. Yeah. And I think he was get he's planning to get a wee bit political. He's made some stuff about American. That's life. done. It's all over. That's done. And any notion of politics I know that's, American yeah. politics is a cesspit. You don't bit, know what but, could happen. But you but can't you've got to I have somebody that done. doesn't really slap people. I don't even know in American politics is it I don't if think Trump it, had slapped someone. I think that would probably be too far with people. Well it, although you don't know. You don't know. But I think in the situation with Will Smith because he the slap, he could have got away with. Yeah, it the was a mad down, shout. The, mad the shout. shouting, taking control, being the king, and staying there. I think people went. No, my you know our feelings on Joe Rogan mm. now. Yeah, like Joe Rogan said something. He said, "You know, you know, he shouldn't have slapped him. It's because he walked up, slapped him, and then walked away from him. He didn't see Chris Rock as a threat." Yeah. The that's kind right. of person he should have slapped. If he'd went up, slapped him, and then waited for mm-hmm. the guy to hit him back, that's fine to hit that person. You think, yeah. yeah. But he just, he, he had, had no, no fear. He thought, he thought Chris it was nothing. Rock, yeah. Bullying. Yeah, just pure and That's simple. what was disgusting about it, the, the bullying aspect. Mm. But what people are really angry but about Chris is Rock's, the Chris privilege. Rock's done well with this. This is, benefit, this is beneficial to Chris Rock's career. In one way, yeah, but you'll always be the guy that got slapped Doesn't on matter. stage. Doesn't matter, though. He's he's not a fighter. He's not. That's not Chris Rock's thing. You know, it doesn't it's matter. Kinda, Chris Rock's whole shtick is a wee funny guy. It's a bit like in this country with fox hunting. Yeah. The, to keep foxes under control, people aren't angry about that. No. They're angry about the privilege around it. Well, it's a the, fa- imagine the you cruelty. imagine you the, lived in the countryside and some fucking Tory in a red jacket hopped over your land on a horse. I'd shoot sh- them. I'd shoot, shoot them. them. No I'd problem. shoot them. No, I it's, don't. It's, yeah. I'm not into violence. No, foxes. It's not. You know, yeah, I'm not going for the countryside. Can the foxes? You can <laughs> shoot the Tory. Shoot the Tory, but you can shoot a fox. <laughs> Fuck's sake! If they come in and eat all your chickens, you're entitled to, to it. Just shoot yeah. the fo- Yeah, we're not talking about that. You're talking about the privilege. It's the way. Yeah, it's it's making a blood sport. That's the thing I don't like. That's what I don't. I have like. no problem with people shooting a pheasant nope. to eat it. No, nope. but just to shoot it, it's like people go fishing. Yeah, if you eat the fish, fine. But there's people who will fish and then throw the fish away. Yeah, no, you need it. That's it. It's no, bad. and we don't believe in shooting Tories. It's hyperbolic nonsense. Please, before people start, I don't want to shoot anybody. Before people start shouting at us again, I didn't say because le- I shouted it I, for. I didn't say join le- violence. I didn't say lethally shoot them. No, just shoot them with uh, pepper spray with love. Pepper spray their horses' anus. I'll make them move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shift, won't it? No, it's just the privilege with Will Smith, and that's what annoyed people. That he sat down and he thought he was going to be king, and he it well, he turned was because he, he was because when he won the Oscar, everybody he was up. Why like, did everyone stand up and applaud him? You're like it's so peculiar because he started greeting. Yeah, All, actors are inherently liars. Well, that's the that's job. what they do for a living. That's the job. I remember seeing you. Know, was it the Demen the Mendez brothers or the Me- the Mendez brothers? There were two. There were twins mm, mm-hmm. that killed their mum and dad in that's America. Right, yeah, and they gave us very can greedy performance. Mm-hmm. And they, but there was a there was a, a television show about them, and the actors gave the same performance. So yeah. you're like, they can act like these actors. It was just a it's a thing, a, a crying. Remember Phil Pot. And he was like holding the tissue. He oh, yeah. killed all his family in the fire. He was just like kind of... But when actors are good, it was uh, what's her name? Uh, Meryl Streep's a good trier. Ginger Hair in the Jurassic. The newer ones. Yeah, Jurassic. What, what, what's his name? Daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Him for Happy Days. Howard. Uh, Bryce Howard. Ro- 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 Bryce, Bryce Howard. Howard. Right. Bryce. Okay. I watched her on Fiona a, Howard. A, talk show and she was talking away and laughing and she says but she can cry uh, and so she's smiling and laughing and she's as she's talking the tears go and she can stop it and then they were talking again she goes I can do it again and it started again and she's smiling laughing doing the show and can cry on command Jesus that's you a can't skill. trust people 
You can't trust actors, what we've always said. She's a director now. She she's di- actually doing okay. She yeah, directed she's some quite... of that Mandalorian stuff, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I think she's a better director than actor. No, she's not much of an actor. So I've, I've Ron sticking... Howard was not much of an actor either. Not really. No, not at all. Not really. He was no Fonz, was he? <laughs> Spie- Steven Spielberg said... He was playing a 19-year-old in that. Was he? <laughs> yeah. Mm. They were all like young teenagers in it. Remember Ralph the Mouth? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Chachi and all that. I, I, yeah. I wasn't a fan. Su- Susie Quattro was in it. it used Leather to be on, Tuxedero. That's right. It used to be on uh, a Sunday. What, Channel 4? Yeah, four, it was something like that, uh, and I hated it. Yeah. Because it, it meant you were going to school again. Yeah. It was just, oh, I hated it. It didn't, it didn't I mean, get Steven it. Steven Spielberg said one time that he was doing Minority Report, which is a great film. It's all right. I like Minority it's all Report. Right. Don't get me started. It's okay. But Tom Cruise <laughs> is hiding in the bath from these robots. Mm hmm. And there's a bit where he's got to let bubbles out of his mouth and mm. it disturbs the surface. And Tom Cruise says, how many bubbles do you want, Stephen? Oh, and he could release... He's a pro. <laughs> a single, a single bubble. Oh, no, he pro. says, do you want left or right nostril? But then one just came out his arse. <laughs> <laughs> Big blast. <laughs> like a nuclear Big Scientology one. test. <laughs> Have you seen Maverick, the Uh-oh. trailer? Yes. He's looking a bit, he's gone a bit. Him and Denzel have just but tripped, tripped into you're, middle you're age. You're allowed to be old. Oh, here's why this is getting freaky. You're fuck out. How old are you? How, how old are you, my friend? I'm a, 50. Okay. Do you know that Jimmy Savile uh-huh. wasn't even 50 when he, he started the uh, Jim will fix it? He was in his late 40s. That's frightening. <laughs> you remember watching Jimmy Savile and being terrified telly of him and going, that is the oldest man. Oldest man in the world. And he's and you yeah, have now older. Older. Uh, you know, I was watching a thing and it was uh, Christopher Reeve. Uh-huh. Superman. Oh, uh, right. Sadly missed. Sadly missed. Lovely guy. Yeah. Hold on. How old was he in Superman? 75 years old. He was 24. No. Oh, fuck. There's a <laughs> website. Huge. There's a website <laughs> in this football player, Scottish football players from the 80s. <laughs> and there's guys like who are 18 And I shit you know They look 45 year old Graham Soonis But they used to run around The uh, professional footballers Would run around the pitch With a fag in It was a mouth. harder life Oh, People have got softer And people say that's a bad thing It's a nice it's, thing It's. I, I don't think people should look like that No they should not Christopher Reeve There was a picture of my uh, That was horse riding That fucked him over Yeah She's a bloody shit That gives me the, the terror that Horses this folk, no, folk Stay can, off them But folk can slip in their living room Can that laminated floor in That's killed a lot of people I knew a kid uh, Riding home from school Oh god 30 years ago Hopped his bike The front wheel Missed Hit his oh. head Died instantly Jesus Died Yeah And that's, that That stuck with me Because it was so yeah. Fast Instant Unexpected Just Just killed him. Yeah Oh terrible, Jesus terrible. Christ But yeah There's happens. some British people Being killed in a A like mudslide in Australia just wiped oh, out a family. God. I hate it. Yeah, that's why I tend to stay in the house as much as I can. I love that. But see, that most accidents do happen in the house. That's true. Toasters. That's Wh- true. Tumble dryers are the big killer. Yeah. People think it's a deep fat fryer. It's not. It's a fucking tum- it's a lint tumble in your dryer. tumble dryer. <sighs> I switch. Scary. I switch everything in the house off before I go to I bed. I patrol. Do you patrol do the I house? Do I patrol the house. I don't leave my TV on standby. Not with the I'll energy bills now. No, not Holy now. fuck! I go around. This is get. This is get kill people. Yes. National insurance is just going up. Oh god, yeah, I'll pay that. But ten, eleven years ago, yeah. we had a big storm of right. snow and ice oh. in Dundee, and it stayed though. Do you remember did, that? Yeah. It just didn't get warm and ice everywhere. Valgate for about... Hill had snow on it for like four months. It was Block. terrible, and it would you'd end up with six pack because you're walking everywhere on ice, <sighs> slippery. Oh, slippy. But there was old people who actually died in Dundee of two things. Mm-hmm. I think there was seven, mm-hmm. and it was cold uh-huh. and starvation. I just couldn't leave the house. Couldn't leave the house. It's awful. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. So poverty in Dundee. My, I was. I walked through Dundee the other day because I was away at the bank. I got a check. I got money back. The Royal Mail had lost a package I sent out. All right. So I contacted them in in a couple of days. Wait a ch- ch- no, a I couple could, of days. I three, three, wait a month. three, four days, mate. Oh quick as God. fuck. All right, quick okay. as fuck. Because I filled it in. I just didn't like. Get a crayon and right. Oh, keep right. me money. That's where I'm going. That's wrong. where you're going wrong. <laughs> and he walking back, and it was fucking awful. 
Mm-hmm. The smell of dope, the smell of fags. Yeah. Just Ken folk who don't even, they're not having a nice smoke, they go, Ken, it's like their life depends on yeah. And it was just, God, I'm not a donor, but folk had just looked ill yeah. and they had a parlour and a lot of walking <laughs> sticks and just old, young people who've just have gotten themselves ill and old. And it was just in shop, shop fronts that were shut and people like, Curried in meat jelly in little shop. It was just awful. Do you know what I miss? Depressing. Though? I don't know where the registrar's office is now. Oh, that used to be as an Indian restaurant now. It's an Indian restaurant now. But because it was there, you'd walk past it. It was beautiful seeing the weddings. They would, they would get married on the street. They'd get married on the street and the amount of tracksuits and a and a, a girl who's just looking miserable and she's having a fag and she's pregnant and it's just it, it was and they're all like 18 <sighs> yeah, at the, yeah, at the yeah, max yeah, yeah. they get married in the one across for the McManus the uh, kind of the city chambers that's yeah. a common one for a function I've walked past you know a, 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 the, what you call it, the pub in the corner the cheap one, one. Yeah, owned by the one. cheap guy with the funny hair yeah, he, 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 I've walked past there a few times and there's been Ramis and it's been funerals. Oh, a funeral. That's the main funeral place. Funeral Ramis, find. yeah. At the pub at mine, if you see all the black ties and that, you're like, right, move the car to another street and just... Just all the animosity comes yeah, out. They'll comes be fighting out. over money. It's basically it's, a, a Nescafe jar full of twos and ones. My dad died, went to the Park Hotel. Yeah. Oh, was, that just did funerals. So I go down, there's my mum, and I walk over to her, and she's upset, and she's got her sister with her and that, and she turned to me, she didn't even look at me, uh, and she said to my mate, Brian, she says, get him out of here, now, and he grabbed my neck, turned me around, there was people who never visited my dad when he was ill, that had walked in to get the sandwiches and stuff, uh, and I didn't know, and my mum knew, if... I had saw oh, yeah, them. Yeah. I would have fucking Take lost. your fucking sandwich! <laughs> I would have lost. Do you want that sandwich? On the end of my fucking fist. I would have lost my mind. Big cucumber just embedded into the <laughs> yeah. forehead. But that oh, sort yeah, of thing, because you're emotionally fucked. I've, I've just come down yeah. from the funeral, driven straight there. I worked in the park hotel. Oh. And they, they used to just refill the Guinness. They used to go around the tables picking up Guinness and then refill them because you could do it with Guinness. Never drink Guinness in a dodgy pub because they could oh. put anything into it. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Oh my it's like God. a mark. They know that pub, place. That pub used to do, it didn't do so many weddings. It was primarily funerals. Yeah. And then it would do, it would host a, a tour groups, pensioner, buses of pensioners. Mm-hmm. And the guy that ran it back in the day was a bit of a scallywag. And he had fucked off. Oh, you know, you told me this. He was he was he was on site yeah. and he thought I oh, fucking better leave. And he'd locked the place up and the fire alarm went off. And when the pensioners tried to leave, all the glass <laughs> all the glass all and the, front. All, the fire brigade came and they're all pressed <laughs> to the glass. Oh, amazing. They just place. Let that has been no, knocked, knocked down. down. It's not a thing. It's obliterated. There's houses There's there, there, be flats there. Thank God it was a dump. It was a dump. It was famously a dump. It was a dump. That's the only time I ever stepped foot in it, and it took about ten steps. Had a hand on my neck, and you're that because you've you've been to the funeral. You're sort of in a dream state, yeah. so I was able to be guided out safely. There's a guy, there's a guy on YouTube does stuff where he visits Ponte. He, he always visits the worst place in the world, and he visited that hotel you'd stay down in Blackpool. Oh, the Norbreck. Jesus Christ! There was blood on the sheets. In that the was thi- the, I, there was period blood on period my blood. sheets. There was like <laughs> the bath was mainly pubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, it was fucking shocking. It was shocking. I'd heard about it. But it was it was a Britannia Hotel yes. group. Britannia Hotel group. I don't know their business model. Maybe somebody will. I still tell get us. ten emails a day trying to but get the, me to go back. The own they've bought. They've got one in Avi Moore. Can a big hotel yeah. in Avi Moore? They buy these big, at one time popular hotels, mm-hmm. and they don't have the funds to. There's one in Liverpool. The Norbrex the, hideous. The one in Liverpool is called the Adelphi. Right, okay. And when you go in, it is absolutely beautiful hotel. It's been the premier hotel in Liverpool, mm-hmm. in Liverpool's prime. Right. Know? And it's just, they can't maintain it because they'll have two people working there. It's it's horrible, man. Even the sign on the front of the Norbrick, bits had fallen off and they just go fucking leave it. You, know, <laughs> it's, you can't let little things, you've got to fix it. You've got to fix everything. The broken window syndrome. Fix immediately, yeah. But I'd heard about this. Uh huh. How bad it was. And you still went. But you don't believe it can be that bad. And it was just... Did you actually stay there? We or? stayed there. Oh. So we go, it was dirt cheap, and we, we go in... And You've been better sleeping in your car. It just looked run down. Yeah. But when we went to the room, 
it was unbelievable. My bed was five foot long. Oh my lord! <laughs> it was five foot long. It was. It was. It, it, you had to see it to believe it. I've told people how bad it was. I was in a but, family holiday in Ireland, and we stopped. It was B and B in at the time. This was in Southern Ireland, mm-hmm. and uh, we we're getting a bit desperate. We're, we didn't have found a place. We we're going along the road. And we came to this massive bungalow because at the time there was something different with the rates of building a house. So the not the Southern Irish could just build these massive houses. The Southern Irish or so, Ireland, <laughs> Ireland, whatever. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> they like tatties like the Scottish people. They're our cousins, our Celtic brothers. And this oh, massive house. That was a way to get out of it, wasn't well it? Well oh, done. Good stuff. Good, 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 good. And uh, they, they, they got. <laughs> they got. They got. Uh, the, this woman came to the door and she was wearing a tabard, but it was a little bit dirty. Mm-hmm. But she. And you, and you come, can that lovely Southern Irish hospitality? Southern Irish? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Irish, the Irish blarney. So the, in we come. We're losing all our No, followers. it's okay. <laughs> and uh, they they brought us in, and they uh, showed us a room. Now, in the live in the dining the kitchenette place, big kitchen. Yeah, there was a guy. There was a machine, an engine, or a motorbike sat on the coffee table thing. All oh, right, okay. And there was just a, a rather insane looking son sitting there. Looking at pucking at himself, he need a bit of mange, and we we're like fucking hell. And we threw to the the bedroom, and I went for a pee, and there was a radiator beside the toilet, and there was a gigantic hole had been pissed through it. Oh, like in the rusty hole, huge. And then we looked to the bed. My mum like checked the sheets, dirty as fuck. Pulled back the sheet, and it was just a huge tear, <laughs> massive tear. So we said, oh, so we went, oh, what are we going to do? So we went back through. She says, excuse me, we've we've, we've looked, checked our times. We're going to have to. We can't stay, we'll have to move on. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. No, 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 no. We'll just, we'll, we'll have to go further down the road. Oh, that's fine. But she wouldn't have let us out the front door. She'd let us out the back door. So we went through this compound and there was a, <laughs> there was drop my little dogs. <laughs> oh, God. And there was a pile of dog shit about four, as high as your bed, four or five <laughs> feet tall, steaming, Rottweiler shit. And she let us see this back gate out and away we went. Fucking hell, it was mental. That's weird. It was so despicable. I think the Norbrek, it, it, the weird thing is, I would have to say to people, if you're, just go to a travel inn or something, the, it's the best thing. A travel lodge a premier inn's better. A premier inn, that's, or something like but that. At least they're, they're always, clean. They're clean, they're basic, they, they're always a good price. Yeah. But, you should experience the Norbrek. Right, okay. It's a fucking shithole and it's giant. Aye. It's this massive well, that's complex. that's the problem, you see. You can they see it from space. T- a hotel of that size, you need a vast staff. And th- there's no they one there. They won't have them. There's they nobody have there. Them. There's nobody there. I remember I stayed, when we were at school, we stayed in a youth hostel down in uh, was it fucking Stratford-upon-Avon. And when you went in, they gave you this thing. Mm-hmm. And it was like a fitted sheet, but it went over the pillow. Oh, that's you know the right. Style yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the, what you mean. the pillow... It smelled of oh, ass and there was jizzy stuff on it. It was <laughs> yeah. just appalling. So yeah. you could smell it. Oh, man. I stayed in a hostel once and Aye. never again. It was back when it was just like bunks. Aye. And it was Do just Do they still terrible. exist? No. All the hostels are like proper rooms and everything. Yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get that anymore. Yeah. I don't think you're allowed it anymore. It's, well, it's would not... you be happy sharing this with some stranger? Well, the thing is... The the youth hostel people went. Oh, it's a great way to travel. It was expensive. Was it dear? It was I never, shit. I've never it stayed. It was on. shit to stay in because you had loads of people around you farting, and it was you had no privacy. Right. And then you had to clean up in the morning. You were given jobs, and you had to work there before you left. You had to do all the dishes. You had to go and clean the toilet. Yeah, what or if something. you didn't do it, I think you were banned. It was it was weird as fuck. It sounds a lot like kibbutz like. Yeah. The youth uh, hosteling was. Uh, I was no. signed up for a kibbutz once, but a kind of war broke out. I think kibbutz is a, a, a good reputation. I think it was it? about seven years or something. The kibbutz is very left wing. It's a, it's a yeah. side of things you don't really see. But yeah, communal living. I'd, I'd like to stay in a kibbutz. I was signed up for that. Yeah. But then, ugh, trouble, and then I couldn't go. No, we've stayed in some right B&Bs over the years. We've stayed with this woman in the, the Highlands somewhere. This old lady, she must have, she'll be long dead now. She was in 90 at the time. Mm. And she just the best breakfast. And it was just a wee cottage and she was just a wee bit. She'd been doing it forever. And when we left, she just didn't really want to take the money. Right. And she gave us a big bag of pears out of her garden. And, that, and her <laughs> breakfast nice. was all home-baked stuff. Oh, lovely. Because I was stayed in the <laughs> pit lockery one time. And I've, st- I've still not recovered. You got one slice of bacon with my breakfast. That's <laughs> some shit. Half places. a tomato. Mm-hmm. A sausage, mm-hmm. one slice of bacon, one egg. 
the thing is, I it's, used it's to at minimum two <clears throat> bits of bacon. When you used to go surfing about, yeah, and if you just didn't want to stay in a tent or the car yeah. or whatever, you sometimes got a B and B in the nineties. But now B and Bs are expensive. You just get a hotel now. But the B and Bs, Airbnbs kill B and B. Yeah, people don't want to see the person. I saw there was some cod for breakfast once. Cod, I cod. I mean, that's unusual. I'm going to have cod, no. right? I thought I'd play a cod and I'll get you going for the day. Energy. Oh. And I come out, big bit of cod. Big. Three quarters of it was filled up with milk. It was a bowl of milk, milk with a, milk, a cod milk in it. Milk cod. And I, I, what the fuck is that? I even said, what is that? Do you not have any just fish on its own? And they went, no. And that was it. The woman just told me no. And I just, I I've couldn't heard, eat it. I've heard people doing that with like, Ken, like, do you like a uh, smoky? Well, bro, uh, I love I a smoky. Uh, you will sometimes get that in a bit of milk. Milk, oh, no. that's a funny bread because I like a kipper in the morning. A oh, smoky, I, nice. I can't have kippers because mm -hmm. growing up, I've go, been kippered up doing this fucking podcast. That's very true. We'd go uh, fishing, mm. beach casting, uh -huh. and the bait you'd use was herring. Oh, so when I smell kippers, that's herring. You smell this horrible salted. Dry you meat. don't like it. I don't like it. I like it. I like a nice mackerel, fresh mackerel. Mackerel's fine. Grilled yeah. with a bit of. Oh, well, that's nice. Barbecued. I don't like barbecue, but if you barbecue, you mackerel, don't like barbecue. Don't like anything barbecued. Why not? It, it's delicious. I don't like it. It's usually meat. We could barbecue <laughs> a pineapple. <laughs> you can, and it's nice. A breadfruit. Yeah, well, but I, I don't like barbecue. Uh, I like the smell of it, but the taste of it. You don't like good. the delicious taste. No. Okay. I don't like the delicious taste. My, my brother told me about a recipe. You put a whole chicken, you put a can of lager up its arse. And it explodes. When it's dead, obviously, when it's stuck. <laughs> you, no, but you, you, you open the lager, you crack the lager and put it in the barbecue and it just steams the beer through the but chicken. what about the paint and everything off of it? The... That does not come off. I don't, I don't, I don't think this no. is the aluminium can. That's it's fine. heated that's aluminium that's going fine. into the meat. That's fine. That that's doesn't fine. sound good. I've seen the food. I saw a spoon in here. People have commented. Your proctology spoon. Uh, the spoons were washed this morning. Fucking, there was layers of stuff. The thing is, there was that, stuff no, on that. You know that, that was? That, that, was wasn't, the, that was the powdered coffee. That wasn't one meal. Uh, maybe two of them. But that was powdered coffee. That's all I that fucking had cups terrible. of tea you've made as well. <coughs> I wouldn't. I there wouldn't. was a guy many years ago who sadly died, Gilbert. He's a lovely man, lovely man. But I worked with him years and years ago. And his cup... You've never seen anything like it. The 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 the, the hue, the colour inside oh. that mug was jet black. It was a white mug, jet black mm. inside. He'd never washed it once. But that's and it. And he thought the flavour was in. I've worked in garages uh, and stuff like that. And if you wash your cup, they go, "Oh, didn't do that. You'll yeah. ruin it." Yeah. You never wash your cup. So, well, someone washed their oh, washed, it and he went it. fucking bananas. Yeah. He was fuming. You don't wash. What a patina cup. It was beautiful. Yeah, it goes jet black. Jet though, it black. Does. No, I got shouted at. What does tea do your internals? Oh, the exact same. You drink a but lot of tea. But tea's good for you. I like tea. Tea, the tannins and tea are good. good I like tea, you. and for our American friends, that is tea with milk. Americans don't have kettles in their houses, do they, particularly? I don't think so. They're not kettle no, no, they don't. They don't have kettles. They don't have tea. We're a big kettle nation. I mm -hmm. don't think the French have the kettles. They're not I'll tell you something about tea. Uh-huh, what about it? So, I'm living in Kansas City. Uh-huh. Right. Girl I'm People with. Are you're just proving how much skills we've got. I think of the subjects we've spoken about. Skills with a Z. So, the girl I'm living with, her sister comes uh -huh. around. She goes, why are you drinking tea like that? It's disgusting. It's got milk in it. I went, give it a try. I made her a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. oh, Next think... day she come back, she goes, give me another cup of tea. Yeah. And then, a couple of weeks later, she's really into, probably longer than that, a couple of months later, she's really into drinking tea. Uh -huh. She come in and she'd done something she made a body language, her shoulders went up, her hands rubbed together, and she went, we can get a cup of tea on. Where does that come from? Oh, International body language that you think's just here. Oh. But did, Addicted she does was. Does nobody else put milk in their tea? I don't know. I don't know. it. I went into IHOP the tea, and the, I asked for it, yeah. and they says, I'll give you cream. I went, no, no, oh, no. Oh, no, I'd be disgusted. I said, milk. Well, it so they got, like it was insane. So they traded with the Chinese to get tea, mm -hmm. and it had been black tea they'd initially drunk. So that had been the thing. It was so expensive, they'd locked tea. I don't tea. know if it's a British thing putting the milk in it. I think it maybe is. They had the yeah. tea urns, right. and it was locked, because the staff would steal your tea. It was so precious. Well, tea was a big deal. And they would give, yeah, yeah. So that we loved our tea. And it must have been incredible, because what did people drink prior to tea? With tea before with coffee... 
Yeah, there'd be nothing. People have become addicted to it. It's like gin back in the day, the gin houses. Gin oh, was the crack crazy. cocaine of its yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but tea here is, who had it is addictive. If you drink tea, black, mm. or like uh, I was in New York and someone said, do you like a cup of tea? And I went, oh, gasping. And they come out with a glass of iced tea. No, and it had green stuff they put in it. so much sugar in it. Have you and I've never had an iced tea down? before, and I was drinking it, going, mm, it was terrible. I got a cup of tea in the morning, like at a Lady Grey with a wee splash of milk, and a nice fry up. Nothing like it. Well, no, just a cup of tea is fine. Just oh, a cup I, of tea. I, something I like a posh tea. I like a posh tea. It's delicious. Like Earl Grey. I'm a, I drink a, my kettles. Oh, my granny mm-hmm. would have a teapot on on the stove all the time. All the time. There was yeah. tea going constantly, constantly and it would have scalded it. Kind of just riddled. But that's her. but that's you're addicted to it. Yeah, you genuinely addicted. And, and for a thing that really doesn't have that much taste, but you don't realise. Ah, no, no, no. I knew people in the states mm-hmm. drink tea, but it was black tea, mm. right? Or weren't addicted to it. You add the milk. I don't know what oh, happens. The milk. But well, you add the milk I, I no milk. longer drink coo milk. I've gone oat. Uh-huh. I had a bowl last night because I like my cereal. This is fascinating. This is good this, stuff. These, this is these, these new Patreons are like, fucking hell. They're like, God, I'm glad we're we, signed. I'm glad glad we're signed. giving them money. Crunchy nut cornflakes yeah. <laughs> with oat milk. It's the greatest thing. Try good it. Thing, yeah. Please try it. Change your life. Can I just point something out? Mm-hmm. When we first started the podcast, you were full dairy, full drinking, everything. Oh, yeah. And since then, you've given it all up. But at the start, you would rip the shout at me. For yeah, but I'm still, I, wait, I've, wait, I'm still wait. not as bad as you. I'm still eating meat. But wait, I eat meat. Well, but you don't chicken. like yeah, bland, boil in the bag. I like chicken. chicken. I like chicken. Hey, listen, I cook. Oh, yeah. I make some nice meals. I actually spoke to your mother on the phone. You did? And I realised the poor woman's got Stockholm Syndrome because she claims you're a good cook. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> I was this close to phoning the authorities. Get that woman out of there. I can cook, man. I can cook. Uh, fucking it's just every, there's this <laughs> notion going around now uh-huh. that funny I that. don't cook and I don't eat. Uh, uh-huh. I've put on weight. Mm. I've put on too much weight again. Uh, I just, I just, yeah, I was drinking too much in lockdown, so I stopped drinking. Mm-hmm. It's as simple as that. It's, just, it's a good thing. But it's my mum and dad, it's coming up in June, it's their fucking 50th wedding oh, anniversary. God. Good for them, good for them. So you've been alive longer than they've been married. That's Jesus. insane. And they've been married a long, long, time. long time. Long, long time. There's, there's ration books when they got married. Hey, listen. Susan was 51 last oh, week. Jesus. But she's youthful. 51. She's youthful. 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 Energetic. All the fat. She doesn't wrinkle. Oh. She bloats. Oh, God. Lazy Susan. But so my mum and dad are having a thing in, 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 in Edinburgh. Mm. So I might have a wee drink. I might have mm. a wee glass or something, a nice glass of just wine. One. Just, just one. one. Just don't one. push it. Don't push I won't it. Push it. Don't push I don't it. miss it. I did miss it, but I don't miss it now. That's, it's a funny thing. It's like when you get off a drink. It's finding an alternative drink. You get off a coffee. Yeah. Don't drink coffee for six months and then have a coffee. It tastes like shit. Well, I, I've, I've, I've like, found myself a, drink a caffeine-free coffee, which is nice, man. It's yeah. a good, good stuff. But what, you know who could, you know what we should, oh, well, didn't I get around to the ball soap what we're going to do? We will get around to that. We've been. Uh, I have to say, oh, I have to say, there. there's been a lot going on in my life. There has been, there has been. <laughs> and then added to that, I had COVID. Yeah. So there's other things. Four months you were off without COVID. There's Never heard from him. I'd on. phone him and it was just random, brain fog. But if someone could invent not a soft drink or an alcoholic drink, a new flavour that was oh. alcohol free, but it tasted not of alcohol, but just of its own thing. Can now they invent? Can umami appeared? Right. I've got an idea. What? I know what you get. Dandelion and burdock. You get alcohol-free hand sanitizer and drink that. Have you ever had it in your mouth a bit? Yeah, but it's not bad. No, no but it's... just a t- something that's nice. Oh, right. Okay. Like kombucha. Kombucha's got a bit of a taste of its own. When, it's got uh, a natural need, sweetness. Yes. But aren't you trying to invent a new color? It's possible, mate. You're trying to invent a new color. That's what you're trying to I do. I used to do that as a kid, and I did. What color did you invent? Mixed plasticine. Yeah, but that's the yeah. I suppose that's it was the a brown unique color. It was all colors and no colors. It, it was an absence to, of color. It used to look like a troublesome shite because it would be no, brown with no, streaks this of red. Color, in it. This color I invented was so incredible when mm-hmm. you looked at it, you just couldn't. It, you couldn't see it. Color out of space. It was, a, it was a gap in the fabric of time and space. Oh God! I you, lost it. Thought uh, the thing that My annoys me. It up one day. The thing that annoys me. When you see in a film and they do it like colour out of space and it's a colour that can't be described. It's always it's just new. a colour. It's always purple. It's always purple. It's always purple because that's the space. Pur- purple colour. is a sp- Is there much purple in space? 
Well, it's nothing, and then searing white. But then there's there's it's a, well, that's the 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 sun is white. Mm, it's searing. Just that we see it through the atmosphere, so it looks orange. Searing, but it's white. Searing white. Well. But wouldn't it be funny if tomorrow they said things couldn't get much? This is the sun's going out in a fortnight. Oh, I wouldn't mind. What would you do? Would you keep? You'd keep doing this podcast. To I the would end. keep going to the end. I wouldn't change anything. I'd be playing some <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Forza Five tonight, yeah. and then another podcast. A fortnight. That would be it. That's all I'd do. I wouldn't. Uh, I, now transferable skills. Before we, before we've, we've we've lost it again. But I'm going to bring it back. Okay. What is a skill that you have? Not education, because you've got nothing. Your education has brought you in life. No. So what skill? People person. You are a people person. I am charming. I've heard from people that you don't even know you're a people person. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You don't even know them. What? Yeah. I'm it's not a people person. To do with your work, put it that way. Yeah, the thing is, I am a people person. But the problem is I, I, I'm I'm very nice to people I like, but I've got I've, I've, I've got I'm very judgmental. So if I've I noticed. dislike someone yeah. They get the worst of me immediately. But if it's somebody I like, I'll do anything for people. But I just like I am, and I never change my mind about people. Oh, and, God. I meet somebody, and if I dislike them, that's it. No, I do change my no, mind. No, never. It's I've, never happened, mate. I've seen someone. I've there hated, was someone you. In this I've hated building, you since the fucking start. And that's fair enough. But there was someone in this building, uh-huh. and when I first met her, she was kind of awful. Susan? No, no, no. I'm not going to say. But over time, they kind of grew up a bit. Uh, and the, I saw them actually change, and their attitude about oh. certain things change quite dramatically. Okay. And I thought, if they're okay, oh no, but they're I don't. Just, I, I, don't grown up. I don't count young people in this. I'm not. Oh, right, okay. I'm not going to take a hatred of a child well, and then hate him until he's. There's get... People moved into this floor, right? And I just didn't want to speak to them. Well, and they I've, may be really nice in that. But yeah, just, I've got to that stage. And just in, don't want in, to do in, it in my work environment. Just there's a new woman start and she's lovely but she's going on about her back problems and I can't care I just don't want to know I, I, you know I'm not taking that on board like I make a point I don't learn anybody's names children's yeah. names oh god you don't want to do that but people take offence be like why the fuck would I know the name of your fucking children I'm, I'm a they're stranger nothing to, to me I'm a they're stranger. nothing to me exactly I don't know the names of my cousin's children I have no idea it's a it's a concern but I don't need that information in my life is that a bit of no, I get it. Because there's a lot of people fake. Can people leave the work? And it's like, oh. And they're, they're... But it's the thing getting older, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, when I, up to about 40 something, 40, yeah. 4, 45, there was a kind of girl I was attracted to. Uh huh. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I noticed that that drifted away where. No. You didn't. And you know what that is? Uh-huh. That's the genetics saying you're not making babies anymore, dude. Uh-huh. So you don't need to be attractive to a certain kind of person. So you don't like boobs anymore. Oh, boobs are still great. Uh-huh. But then, uh-huh. right, uh-huh. A couple, about a year ago, I noticed that... Uh, you didn't, find, niece, didn't start finding Susan I, attractive, did no, you? No, no, And then you have are kids you listening, Susan? that you enjoy, kids are fun. And I was like, oh, I'm not liking kids so much anymore. Oh. In the sense that I, I can't you be bothered. You know what you remind me of? And that's just because of your age. You, you remind me, be. you know those monks? Yeah. And what they drink ones? a lot of tea. Okay. And they go into a hole in the ground and self mummify. Yeah. That's, that's the it. stage you're going through. I feel that dry. I had skin on my forehead. Oh, no, if you, you've shaved your head. Oh, that, that it. bit at the front. Oh, no, this is my Brazilian, the front. Yeah, it's, now, you see how there's a gap? How there? does that work? That's because of Because that, that was the scar. You see the scar? Yeah. Well, I'd left it uh, longer than like six hours or something because uh, I was at the beach. Oh. And when I went up, they said, you know, if you've left it long, and that's I went, no, why no, one of your just eyebrows goes up. Yeah, I said it's just happened. Yeah, and they were they knew I was lying because they couldn't get it to join. Uh, so they went and got forceps and uh, just pulled it. And I I didn't feel it, but I heard it go. Uh, you can't really feel the top of your head much. And then they stitched it up, mm-hmm. but my centre pattern is this Brazilian uh, now. Weird. I've got the same haircut as the body on Death Wish Three. You do. There's the gap down the middle. Yeah, him. So I've got that to really guy that gets it. killed with a rocket launcher. That's him. Great film. The, uh, I was Great in the film. bank. I hate banks. As a bald man, banks aren't good because I've always got the camera that show you look and up. You're and looking, you, you go, and you, and you see stop. yourself. Oh. I, that happened to you, and it happened to me. In a I don't news mind it. I'm not time. a vain person, but like the first time like, you see it, it's, it's a shock. It is a shock. Now I just shave my head. I don't. Told you, as a guy I worked with, and he used to mock the fact I was losing my hair. And I, I, and I, I honestly, I don't care. I said, "No, it's fine. I don't care." But I said, um, "Dad, be a dad bald," and he's like that. Oh. No. 
And I saw him, he came out of work now a couple of years ago and he's, 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 he's done the shave your head so close, either you're not bald. Get yeah, you're thing. not bald, it's, it's choice. It's choice. I've never, I remember when I first noticed but you had was long going, hair. I had long hair. Yeah, and when you noticed, were, that was a Chippendale period. Yeah, but I never, see, here's the thing, I never had long hair out of choice. I just never cut it. it was when amazing. I say you worked for the Chippendale, you were the guy that put the elastic bands on their cocks. You weren't actually a dancer. No, I was the guy that polished the chairs. Ah, uh, see polished what I did Polished the there? chairs with what? I <laughs> see what I did there. But Have you seen those things they put on the lamb's balls? Yes. I don't know where that came from, but yes, I have seen them. So, uh-huh. I so one day I noticed I was balding. Yeah. And I, for about six hours I had an existential crisis. Yeah, like, yeah. Isn't that and you then do about it? it just went away and yeah. I went, wait a minute, I can cut my hair. Yeah. And I did. It's nothing worse than long And I just went. You look like riffraff out of fucking Rocky Horror. Yeah, so it's not it, good. I just went. And I didn't, and no one's ever said to me, oh, you're losing hair. I've never. Which one of our listeners has got the best head of hair? Is there a lot going on under that? I think Chris has got a lot. Is there lot. a lot going on under that ponytail, though? That's a head of hair. Is there a head of hair? Jesus, yeah. yeah. That's wild hair. Yeah, he's magnificent. He's a magnificent beast, isn't he? He's like a, he's like a lion. You know the lions? That when they're getting a bit scrawny, they're getting pushed out, and they're just yeah. You, you've had your day, mate. He's it's, kind of got a mane like that. So you think he's basically happy, happy domestic bliss? It but then these way. two younger men are get a pair thrown at the house. Yes, and he'll just he'll spend. They'll a bite lot, his neck first, then throw. They'll him spend out. his latter years just sitting in the shed. He'd yeah. be happy with that, though. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, it's quite I laid think back. He'll be all right, seems yeah. okay. Seems okay. Because uh, I mean, he's his missus seems quite feisty. Feisty is the way. Feisty's Definitely the way. in charge of him. Oh, Definitely. And he loves it. Oh, God. It's awful. He loves that shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Uh-huh. Skills. Skills. i done a course in AstroTurf Lane, <laughs> but nobody uses that anymore. Is that... Well, I walked past the house the other day with AstroTurf, but it's covered in dog shit. Ah, uh, people do that. They, they, they put it in their garden now to save, but you can't... The problem with AstroTurf... Is it has to have a membrane underneath, yeah. and it has to have drainage in that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just puddle puddle. It, it's disgusting. The piss would just sit. Yes, in it. it just is a disgusting. Some stuff of that fake grass now is very realistic looking, though the technology. The, but I find it appalling. Yeah, just grow. Well, you don't get astroturf anymore. You it's know. all this other yeah. near stuff because astroturf you'd fall on it, and it would just shave one side of your right, body okay, off. Okay. So it's a lot better. Now. Uh-huh. But uh, I, I find it offensive. It makes me sick. Just like people that spray paint trees with graffiti. I find that. I've told you well, this that's before. Awful. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Offensive. I, I spoke to a guy who's a g- nice guy. He's a graffiti artist. And I said, I fucking hate people. And he said, I do that all the time. And I, no, and you I piece pulled, of shit. I thought, oh, what leave it be. A tree. Do yeah. a wall. There's plenty of walls. Just walls, yeah. There's some good graffiti in done. Have you seen the latest one across the copy, the split face? Yeah. It's Just fantastic. It's a know. nice bit some... The same person has done another one down next to the old day. Uh, Nightclub, okay. behind the uh, pound stretcher place. Have this, you seen that? This building. Someone's doing some kitchen. Full of artists, and not one of them can do that. No, so no, where are these artists coming from? I don't know. They're, they're all terrible. In their house. They're all terrible. The ones. <laughs> the ones here. Are how's, how's the how's our old nemesis? How's her her? Uh, no idea. Her, not a thing. All quiet. It's lovely, isn't it? All quiet. Do you miss her a little bit? No. No. Good. Because that bitch would slam that door oh. 50 times a day and the whole building would shake. And I didn't realise how much she did slam the door until she's gone. Silent. And it's just the whole building It's silent. like a noise. You wouldn't even be fully aware of it, but just all the time. We've was... got people moving in this corridor mm-hmm. and it still feels like there's no one here. Yeah, okay. Because of this one person. How big is the yoga going to be? Is it still big yoga? I don't know. Because there was yoga people next to my studio and I could just hear the whale song and farts. Yeah, that's all there was. Well, the one that was downstairs was hot yoga. Oh, fuck. So it was just I see her going about. I see her going about quite a bit still. Oh, she pissed me off. Yeah, she's a bit... She's, she's, I, she I don't think off. she's right because I watched her. She walked past hey, the work and then she sat there kind of eating and it's hard to explain. She was just sitting there like in a very strange look at me attitude. She's it's like she thought person. everybody was paying their attention. Yeah, she's an odd one. She, she wasn't just eating normally. Mm-hmm. It was opposed to eating. Well, I, I didn't get in a fight with her, but we're outside one day having a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. She come up, oh, walked out. It was just after lockdown. She'd been stinking, was she? She was saying, there's no such thing as this disease, and, and, and it's just nonsense, and people are, that believe in it are actually, as she put it, bloody idiots. 
idiots. Fuck's sake. I was like, oh, God. And then she was just annoying me, and I went, just fuck off like that. And she was really shocked. Yeah. But I just had enough. There was someone else here who told the same as well, because they were going on about, oh, you heard this ivermectin, we've been oh. taking it. And I just went, get too fuck. Where did they get that shit from? Well, they all live on a farm in a commune. It's 100% proof. We all knew it was, but it has no impact. Ivermectin does nothing. Yeah. It does nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Somebody was making a lot of money off that shit. It was like Joe Rogan said. But the imagine people that, taking, I like this chemical. Yeah. For doctor's chemical, I don't like. But this one, I've got from Joe Rogan. I trust that. There's a weird, people act weird. There, there's, there's been someone I've been watching on YouTube at the moment, and it's this ex-Navy SEAL guy, older guy, and it's okay. something Buds, ex-Buds. I can't remember what it's called. Uh-huh. And he's got the most fantastic head of hair. Oh. He's an older guy, and he would kill you right now. Yeah, he's the real deal, right? Yeah, but he's funny as fuck. Like that Jocko guy would kill you, him with a big thick neck. Is that... Jocko? He's pals with Joe Rogan, but he's just like an animal. Oh right, okay, I'm not sure. Terrifying. But this guy, lovely guy, him and his wife are proper tough. Yeah, but they're really nice. Yeah, real special forces, the real deal. But they find organized people. Yeah, they find people who are faking they were Navy SEALs. Oh yeah, it's a common one. Right. Now, it's not the fact people are faking it, because people will fake it and they're idiots. But when he's talking to them, they continue. And he and they say, what class you were in? He goes, that's funny, that's the class I, I was in. And they're like, yep, I was there, I don't remember you. They stick to the yeah. lie. Well, they don't let it go, and that's it, the bit that the, gets me. It's sto- fascinating. Sto- stolen glory. Uh, stolen valour. Stolen valour, okay. But what I've seen doing is, this guys, is politicians who've claimed to have... They've, they've, yeah, they've yeah. inflated their military. It's not such a big thing in this country, but in America, a, a good military service is like a that ticket to get. You can get places yeah, on the back. Nothing for you here. Nothing, nothing here. Yeah, nothing here at all. But what they were doing was <laughs> they were going to people in shopping malls who were and they were they were mentally ill people. Mm-hmm. And I don't see the benefit in like approaching them and like haranguing yeah. them. Can it's no, yeah, yeah. But people who are, yeah. The, these people he's dealing with are ones that have got positions yeah. and jobs out of it. And they're head of like uh, veterans associations and that. And they, they, they weren't even in the army. Well, the women. The, it's the incredible. Nine, the 9 11 thing. Yes, the I remember. The woman who was the. She was. It was all fake. It was fake. She was in charge of the families. It's amazing. Isn't it? The, the gall. It's amazing. Yes. Your asshole must be going the whole time. But it's not, it's... I pretended the, I was a fighter pilot. Me and my brother <laughs> were on holiday and pressed the checks, you know? But you were nine. Well, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But uh, I think the, the bit that gets me is this, they persist with it. Yes. They've got a guy who is, used yeah. to be an instructor. Yeah. He was the real deal. His son's a Navy SEAL now. Oh. He's still involved with it all. He's well known for doing this, and and they'll say to him, "No, you're wrong. I was there." You just try and balls it. There's it's a guy. Incredible. There's a guy who was like a major nine eleven kind of. He got. He was a bit of a kind of voice for hire. Mm-hmm. He, and he he claimed he was a, a MI. No, he was an American like mm-hmm. a CIA operative. Yeah, all a lie. He was on Fox News and he was pontificating and he said the right things and he portrayed a moustache and he portrayed himself in a fashion. People took him very seriously. And other, like, senior politicians started to take him and stuff. And it's all bollocks. All bullshit. Bullshit. That, isn't that incredible? Yeah. There has but you're living in a world now of, like, <clears throat> there's no shame. And uh, shame's not a good thing. People were sh- made to feel shameful for stuff that, fuck's sake, their sexuality. Mm-hmm. That's not what we're talking about. But there's no shame for bullshit now. See the, the the thing is with the I like, see that Tory MP yeah the coke oh yeah 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 he says that's dandruff <laughs> he says what I have is a peculiarity he says where I comb out and collect my dandruff disgusting <laughs> yes illegal no and as people have defended prick. him said yeah he's lost a lot of weight he's gone through some stuff give a, give the man a break it's it's strange how yeah. you can just lie. You just bullshit. You just flood it with bollocks. Well, the, here's... Right. It's been said about our show that we lie continually the stories. Now, here's the thing. We embellish. Our stories have arms and legs on them. But, but they're all real. They're real Everything. stories, yeah. Everything's real. Because that's the only way it can work. You can't make up... But a... if I started saying, I'm a, a CIA cowboy astronaut... Mm-hmm. Does people just not see it, see through that instantly? Yeah. 
There's a guy called Mar- Did they not? There's an actor called Matthew Marsden. He was on Coronation Street, and he's a real like army fucker. He loves the army to a level that's peculiar, in my opinion. I think, but he's across in right. America now, and he just he's always tweeting and twittering about the American military and heroes. And you're like, you're a fucking actor. A strange. I call him Junior John Wayne because John Wayne I never think, served. Was he in Bounty Killer? He was in one of the Rambo films. Cars. Yes, as a schoolboy. But he's he's, yeah, but he's yeah. always going on about the army. You're a, you're a, you're a soldier. But the army seems That's to have strange. embraced this guy. It's weird. The, it's very like strange. The army. I don't think... It's like Dan Snow in this country. Yeah. Dan Snow is an army fetishist. Well, here's the thing, right? All my family were all army. Yeah. I'm the one that wanted to be the artist. I'm the, use, I'm the run of yeah. the whole fucking clan, yeah. right? But... I have no issue with the army, but hmm. I don't fetish it. I yeah. don't. I don't. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Yeah. Because in America, they'll say things like "Thank you for your service." Yeah. We're here. You're just like you went in the army. You so went to the army. It's a job. It's a job. Some people you. say you're brave. Oh, well, I don't want. To, fuck. I'm no one who would get shot at. Mm-hmm. But like fucking. He, nobody thanks fishermen. Fishermen's a more dangerous job oh than join the army. Yeah. Being in a trawler. Oh, hold on. The most dangerous job in the last few years in this country is a bus driver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As yeah, a bus, bus driver. driver. Yeah. Combine Brave. harvesters, yeah. Bus driver, taxi driving. I don't know if a combine harvester's dangerous unless you're in front of it. The guy in America... If you're in the cab. The guy in America, right? it's stuck. He gets out, puts his arms in oh, the machine, tore God. both his arms off, couldn't drive, so he walked. He knew there was a phone box, like, miles away, so mm-hmm. he walked to it, and what saved his life? He had his dungarees on, and there was a pen in his top pocket, and he was able to get out his mouth and dial this sounds like survived. bullshit. That's all right. <laughs> he survived. This sounds like. Survived. I remember there was a Japanese guy, you know, um, and he cut his arm off with a chainsaw right. falling on. Oh. But he used uh, meditation to slow his blood, his heart rate Keep down. Keep calm. Keep calm. That's all it was. Keeping calm. Yeah. And he was able to walk a couple of miles to get help. Yeah, Jesus. So fuck. chainsaw would make a mess. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible things. But see, that's a transferable skill. That's yeah. skills. That's not something you learn in school. No. It's meditation. He does that. They teach you how to read and write and count. Mm-hmm. It's basically what you kind of need. I think schools should have a lot more than that. Well, people laugh at home ec. No. No. That's they the, should teach the people to how to cook. How you to cook. should life skills. How to have a bank account. Uh, how yeah. to shop. Uh-huh. Well, they're getting out. Well, they need to how to how to know bollocks when mm-hmm. you see it on the internet. How to how to recognise lies. How to source your Life information. Life skills should be at school. Uh, that's the fundamental stuff. And they, and you are talking fundamentals like cooking, yeah. like maintaining I the house. I loved home economics at school. You know, I loved it, man. What's Fuck. what's what's car insurance? A kid doesn't know what car insurance no is. No chance. What's just information? They actually that you've did. Got. They did a course at Dundee College. <laughs> And uh, that was for kids, maybe that weren't the brightest. Right. And they, that was there was a shop, and it basically taught you all the basics of stuff. Mm-hmm. But it was it, it helped people. People were able to like set up a house. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. But you imagine teaching a kid. Well, you, we know people that don't know how to pay bills. Uh that's very true. I was just about to say something. They don't actually. understand how bills work. There's people who have come into this building. Well, they don't. That are running a successful business. Yeah. Right. And when the bills come in. They just actually ignore come it. in here and said, "What's that?" And just ignore it. And when you got to pay, it, you've got to, like, yeah, nah, you've I'm got to pay the bill. And the, and it does happen, and that's because they just don't know. Yeah, they genuinely don't know, and I don't blame people for that. Yeah, it depends who you're brought. But if up, you whatever. can, if you can cook, you can save yourself. Imagine the money you save through your what life. What if you taught kids to go into Tesco's mm-hmm. and recognise that a deal isn't a deal, or the two for one? Yeah, and they can off. actually, and then count things up. They yeah. will go if you teach. An eight to an eleven year old, that sort of information. You know the secret is save money from shops. Don't go into shops to buy stuff. Order it online. Yeah. You you don't you don't get the impulse purchases. That's what fucks you. You end up buying like a can some new chocolate bar comes out and you get fucked. You end up buying it. Don't yeah. do it. Bracketing, it's called, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It, it's, it's 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 all the the stuff they want to sell you is at your eye height. Yeah. When they want to get rid of stuff, it's always there. Because they know you're always going to get milk. It's essential. Well, it's the ice cream thing. You get a small, a medium, and large. Uh-huh. Right? Mm-hmm. So the small is one price. And you go, that's fair. Uh-huh. The medium, uh-huh. right, uh-huh. is, no, that's a good price. And the large, it's cheap. right, mm-hmm. it's it's not the same proportion. No, so no. someone goes, 
I'm saving money if I get the medium. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to sell you the large. They only want yeah, to sell you yeah, the medium. Yeah, you end up with twice as much stuff as you really need. So you believe mm-hmm. you're making an informed choice where you're not. And if you could teach children that, yeah. skills with a Z, mm-hmm. if you can teach them things like that, like you're saying, cooking, how to clean a house. Save a fortune. And how to, yeah. just basic life skills. That would really I know help people, people. I know people every day of the week take away. Every day. How is that possible? Fuck knows, I don't know. How we, can you afford it? This all comes out, they've got children. What? How is that? Mm-hmm. I've heard people mm-hmm. who say, y- you can't afford to eat healthy. Absolute fucking lies. Speaking of women, new lies. women started the work. Lovely lady. And she, her daughter works in social work in Dundee. And they were saying, the kids that come in on the Monday morning, They've not eaten all weekend. Yes. The mums and dads have not fed I'm them very for, aware of this, for two yeah. days. They should be jailed. There's no excuse for that. There's, it's, as as you know, I told you I was like this. That's neglect. That's no poverty not able to feed them. I was like That's a, a level of neglect. uncle, professional yeah. uncle, where you would uh, interact with kids yeah. and all this sort of thing. The things you saw, man, and the things you heard about, it's not only you can't believe it. Mm-hmm. It's beyond. How do you deal with it? How do that kid survive? A lot. Well, but then I not, knew one kid. Uh huh. She got up in the morning. Right. Changed the baby. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Got the the baby food. Got herself dressed, washed and dressed, and away to school. She was seven. That that that, that th- for the rest of that baby's life, mm-hmm. the mother, the relationship is with her sister. Yeah. It's not with the mother. Absolutely. That's appalling. But this happened. Our kids, and the, 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 remember the whole breakfast for kids at school? Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give kids breakfast. Yeah. And there's fuckers in this country have fought that tooth and nail. Don't want, no, we're not giving kids breakfast. Imagine mm-hmm. if you've not eaten. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do well at school. No, you there's, there's, there's genuine poverty in Dundee. There's genuine neglect in Dundee. Yeah, yeah. There's all these things do exist. Yeah. Right? Oof. And... You have to. You've not got help. a chance. It's difficult enough making your way. Because it's in life. almost like people want to punish kids because their parents are shit or their parents oh, are they, poor. No, no, no. They want to punish kids. And you're like, oh, that's they, not no, the way. It's clear and simple. They just want to punish. <clears> it kids. doesn't work that way. No. There's a notion if you just work harder, you'll get the money. Every fucker that says that was born wealthy. If, How many people in the British strata have actually self-made that expression? They like to think that who is a person who's had nothing and has become vastly wealthy. No, it, ne- it no little startup fund. It doesn't happen. I'm not it sure if it ever happen. happens. Look, I've got a business here. Yeah. And I started it and I've done it. Mm-hmm. But would I say I'm a self made man? No, I've had the support of family, you're half made. friends. You're, you're half but made. You, any support that you get, mm-hmm. you're not self made. No. It's like self not. self-taught artists. You've no, watched you're not the self- TV. There's not You're yet. no such no. thing. You'd had to be kept in a cave. Can I they kept children as an experiment just to see if this came up with their own language? Yeah. Weird shit like that. Yeah, it doesn't go well for people. It doesn't go well. No, no, it's not the way we work as humans. No, we need. It's the to... same as when a gorilla gives birth. Other gorillas run in and take the baby away because the the mother will pick up and just kill it. Oof. They don't know what it is, so they have to get taught, right. and then they reintroduce the baby, and it all works out. They get taught. We are the same. They're saying, you know me, I don't like all the anti-vaxxy people, but they have said that a lot of children. Because of the mask wearing, there's been developmental problems with little kids. Kids haven't been socialised. Right, okay. So there's a generation of wee kids that have just kind of been in the house with their mum and dad, and that's been quite bad. Oh, My brother scary. always said, can his kids were desperate yeah. to see to be with other kids. Yeah, that's natural, and that's... Yeah, just, you need it. That's thing. how you learn everything. Growing up as a child, there's some horrible things happening. We brought it back. We did. Skills. Skills. With a Z. We were born with these skills. These are our innate skills. And... and Idiocy. Talking shite every talking week. Shite. I, when I heard how many that, hours of, I was like, I got a little tear in my how eye. How many hours of this have we produced? Uh, 234, but uh, well, well, that well, shows, but I think hours wise, probably near 300. And then obviously we've recorded twice as much as that. You've just, did you check if this was recorded? It's recording. It only happened twice. <laughs> Five times. T- maybe th- three or four. Five times. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wash your balls. Wash your balls. That's a skill in itself. Oh, wait, isn't I've got to do, this is what's working for us. Until next time. Wait, hold on. Sign up. Oh, you, Patreon. Uh huh. 
join us on Patreon, you'll get all the videos mm -hmm. of this show mm -hmm. coming tomorrow. So you can listen today. Fresh. Fresh. As fresh as we can See be. us tomorrow. Oh, uh -huh. And do you see above the camera there, there's another mount? That's because there's another camera going there. What's going to be in that one? That's a different camera. What's that going to be? Right? It's going to go up a notch. Everything's getting so better So we have two here. cameras? No, we're just going to have one. That okay. one won't go there. Okay, that's And fine. there'll be a second camera, which will be remote controlled here. Oh. And it'll be higher quality. Oh, that's lovely. Not massively higher, but just, just things will get better you see all the, the time. Can you see the big pores in the end of my you nose? You will be able to see that. The because big, big, I brought it down the black other day to, to test it, and it is better, and you do oh, have... Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, so things will be well, getting better. Are we better. not setting up a Twitter account for this actual thing? We thing. are. I'll get around to that. We'll do that. I, can, we'll, do, I can do that. I'm, you set up the Twitter account. Yeah, I'll do that. And it's, and it's a folk just, in Scotland. My plan is just to tweet pictures of my buttocks. They'll love it. They'll love that shit. You so, should see how it's looking. I've been. I got a loofah recently, and it's soft. My buttocks oh, are don't, soft. Don't do so that. soft, smooth, creamy. Patreon. We've got the folkinscotland dot com website where everything's collated together, where you can watch oh, it. Collated. And I'm a way to do collated. it up. And there's way be new things. Oh, there's merch and everything. Merch. And what else do we do? They can buy t-shirts. They've already been using the three or four armed robberies. Ah, what can we say? <laughs> Until next time. Take care of yourself, people. Ta 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 ta. Oh, that was nice. See, that you was you nice were in a good mood. I was in a good mood today. Oh, because uh -huh. uh, new I, headphones. In, in, I thanked our new patrons, and I also said I'll thank them on your behalf because uh -huh. if I ask you to do it, you just start insulting them. That's best. Uh. So I think we'll just be nice to everyone at the moment. I uh, just be nice, keep them sweet. Later, so they're sour, but we'll keep them sweet. Keep them sweet. Do your bit. Ta ta. <laughs>